And let's now head down south. We have one new Cebu desk, Dale Israel. Dale, okay, what are the stories from Cebu? Yes, mahayong hapon, Lord and Denise. We are here about 2,000 feet above sea level at the Paps Cebu on Mount Busay in Cebu City, one of the most iconic popular tourist sites to visit in Cebu since the 1980s. When we talk about Paps, we talk about 360-degree view of Cebu Island, one of the highest peaks in Cebu City. And in the 1980s, this is a popular dating place for lovers because of the cold breeze. This was closed in October 2020, uh, 2022 renovations and it was opened again just this year and still the park became a popular place to go in Cebu City. They say that if you haven't been to Tops, then you haven't been to Cebu City. So Denise and Lord, if you happen to be in Cebu, then you should not, should put Tops in your itinerary. Oh, now, the park here is already, yes, Naka, yes Lord. Alam mo, nakapunta ako dati dyan, may bar si Budoy dati dyan. Is that the same place? That, that's correct Lord, it's the same place but now it has a more like ambience mm. compared to before. Mm -hmm. it, it features now local Cebu dishes and delicacies. Now, um, and also, uh, Lord, Tops uh, opened today a, a, the Media Center, or TMC, where local Bisaya artists can perform and showcase their songs. It even has a studio for new artists to show their talents to a wide audience across the world via the internet, Lord. Exacto, exacto yan. Yung kanta yata ng uh, Urban Dub, yung may City Lights yata, inspired. Pag... Ang ganda ng view dyan, ano? Pero mabuti naman. Hindi ko alam na nagsarado pala yan, uh, na deal, no? Yes, it was closed for two, uh, two years. Mm -hmm. it, there was even, a, there was even a, uh, a campaign to have it open again. Uh, but now it's open and, it, and it's uh, a real a big change is here at, the, at, oh, at Tops. Nako, oh. mahangin dyan, magandang ventilation. Gustong-gusto ng mga nagre-reggae yung nandiyang mm -hmm. ganyang area. Pero, deal, sorry. Okay, um, mm -hmm. ano tawag dito? It, Gaano or how many minutes is the drive from the city proper to the tops? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we came from, uh, we rode the tops buses. That's uh, about 15 minutes from the Cebu IT Park that's in Lahog. Uh, going up to Mount Busay, uh, about 15 minutes. And there's no traffic. Okay. So, balita namin, may mga na-recover daw sa, uh, from is uh, a suspected Pogo hub dyan sa Cebu na mga maraming maraming phones. Yes, uh, Lord, uh, some 83 cell phones were found inside the three volts that came or that were confiscated from the Pogo hub that was discovered in Barangay Agos in Lapu-Lapu City. Mm -hmm. The NBI Central Visayas led this opening of the volts yesterday after they were taken from the Tourist Garden Hotel that was raided by authorities last August 31 and where 160 foreigners were rescued. The phones will uh, contain possible evidences of the Pogo uh, and the personalities involved. Now the NBI will seek permission from the courts to check the contents of these uh, mobile devices. There are three Indonesian passports that were also found from the votes. And just this morning, the NBI 7 said that these names of the Indonesians were not from either the rescued or those charged in court. That means the three uh, individuals are considered missing individuals. That could possibly give more uh, information about the Pogo in Lapu-Lapu City. According to NBI 7 Director Renan Oliva, it, uh, at least 17 people will be charged in court, including Chinese and Filipinos. Uh, they will be charged with money laundering and among other cases. The names of those that will be charged are still undisclosed. And the NBI 7 said would not confirm if local officials will also be charged in court. What is clear is that the DILG and the BIR are continuing its investigation for possible involvement of local officials in the operations of a Pogo hub in Lapu-Lapu City. On October 3, the foreign suspects will be brought back to Cebu from Manila to face arraignment at the RTC in Lapu-Lapu City. That's about our Balitang Dako. Karang Adlawa, gikan din hiyo sa TAPS. Sa Dakbayan, sa Subo. All right. Back to you. Morag, suwabing-suwabi dia sa TAPS. Bye. Maraming maraming salamat siyo. Ang ating one news si Budesk editor, Dale Israel. Dale is also the editor of The Freeman.